was gonna ask you to dance. Jackson's brother. I know. I'm Catherine Screws. So would you like to dance? No, thank you. So you don't want to dance with me? Her leg. She has a charm. Her leg's fine. I just... I don't dance fast. Slow. <laughs> What's wrong with your leg? I had polio when I was a kid. Don't tell me you had to go around wearing one of those, those brace things. For a few years, it's all. Everything's fine now. Come on. Yeah. California. You know, I was thinking when I was a fool to leave. I was staying out there with my father. I decided to come back and see my mother. I ended up getting a job in the steel mill. Are your folks divorced? My folks are divorced, too. Divorce is hard on everybody. I know for sure. I would never do that to my children. When I get married, I'm gonna stay that way. Music. I'm mostly country western. Yeah, I like country western too. <laughs> you do? Kindred spirits, is that what you say? <sighs> got divorced parents. Both like country western. You ever want to go to California? Some people have been married 50 years and have that much in common. I've ever oh. seen. Hmm. I don't think he's my type. What type is your type? Well, I don't already oh, made up my mind the type of man I'm gonna marry. And he just got to be a saxophone player. A saxophone player? <laughs> yeah! Saxophone players are sexy. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, they sure know how to use their hands. <laughs>
You know what I heard? Lula's brother Joe got married. Good thing you don't like him, huh? dozen shirts today. Mama says that's six dollars and fifteen dollars from last month. Uh, tell your mama I'll pay her next time. Uh, and I hope she's feeling better. Mr. Graham asked how you was feeling, Mama. I wanted to say what'll make my mama feel better is to get paid. He didn't pay. Ooh, that man holds a tight fist. Here, Catherine. Now, this is the way you apply a poultice. Gently. Then we cover it with hot towels. Mm -hmm. Gently on the inflamed area. <sighs> That's it. Feels better? Got to feel better. House cleaning for the dryers tomorrow. You're not going to clean nobody's house tomorrow, Martha. You're going to get some rest. <laughs> What's that? Something you don't get enough of. Hmm. Interested in nursing, Katie? I don't know. You make a good nurse. An excellent nurse. You should think about it. Mm -hmm. Catherine's got dreams of being a movie star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, what else is it? Country Western singer, Mama. But that's not for real. That's just play, play. Nursing seems more practical. Oh, I can't believe it's here. Woo! I know. I was in my history test. I kept looking at the clock. And I'm thinking, oh, we got popcorn to string. We got gifts to wrap. What do you think we're going to get? Oh, I want a velvet dress. Oh, I want with bows like the one Catherine Grace and my family <laughs> now you've been gone a long time how you doing katie uh, come on talk to me girl i'm doing fine <laughs> Someone here to see you. See me, Mom? Yeah. I brought you something, Katie. Oh, I, I don't really care. 
here for diamonds. Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time on Christmas morning. But maybe this weekend we could catch a show or something. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. Yeah. You do that. Ladies. A lot you don't know about me. <laughs> Think I want to spend my whole life in a steel mill? Uh huh. <laughs> that's not me, that's for sure. Now the Golden Gloves are gonna be my ticket all the way back to California. In about a few months. You know, maybe uh, take you with me. <laughs> How do you like it? Living in a ranch house, palm trees out in front. <laughs> Well, good night, Katie. leads to something else. I didn't kiss him, Mom. Shh. Now, I was looking in the window. I saw him kiss you. Look at me, Catherine. I'm sure he's a very nice young boy. But you got to be careful. A young girl like yourself, you get in trouble. But I'm not going to get in trouble. I'm going to be a nurse, remember? I got plans. Just for a minute. I gotta 
go home now. Come on, start the car. Ah! So shy. Is it because of your leg? No. You can talk to me, Katie. You understand? You can tell me things that maybe you don't say to other other people. Hey, 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 hey. Look at me. Look right here. In the eye. Oh, what do you see? A monster or something? You know me. We've been going together for two months. You experienced, Joseph. You've been married? That was a mistake, Catherine. A terrible mistake. And I knew that right after we got married. But it, I thought I could make it work. It never hurt you, Katie. I would never do anything to hurt you.
Yeah, of course. I was just, I was thinking about nursing school. Dr. Hayes is arranging it for me. Oh, you're not pregnant, are you? Lady, <laughs> my mother says you are. Oh, what will make her say that? You are, aren't you? I don't want to tell you. I never would have told you. I don't want to mess things up for you. I mean, it's just... Okay, what are you talking about, woman? I was going to marry you anyway, you know that. Days. Maybe he could help me, you know, arrange no. things. But I don't want to mess things up with you, Jim. I really don't. I don't want you to be caught. Trapped. You don't just hush. Hey. You and me, we're going down to Crown Point. We're going to find ourselves a justice of the peace. We're going to do this thing right. But what about your dreams? Aren't you? All your dreams. A lot of them, Katie. Now, we'll get to California. I, I know we will. Laid off. Is that what you're telling me? Look, I don't got no answers for you. What do you want me to do? Man! I just let the oil get down too low. Tito, Jackie, soon it'll be nice and warm. What's Latoya, cuddle up close to Reby. Joseph's home. Can we eat now? See there, Marlon. Your daddy's home. We didn't hear you drive up. Supper ready? You, uh... Been laid off. How long do you think it might last this time? Could be a month. Could be six months. Well, and we'll manage. You always do. They're not going on well for her either. We just, we won't beg.
Just been touching us? No, no, of course not. You're not gonna sell it. It's your music. Who's gonna sell it? I'm gonna round up the fellas. Luth on sex. A couple other guys. I'm gonna call ourselves Falcons. See if we can get some gigs. Gonna make me some money. Luther, man, you're coming in too late. You gotta concentrate. Hey, look, man, relax. Lighten up a little. Let jam a little. I got no time to jam. You know, at the rate that we're going, I'm gonna have to put my kids to work. You wanna see something? You wanna see some real talent? I'm gonna show you something. Daddy wants you to wake up, okay? Come on, come on now. I want you to dance to me. Read it. Read it, honey. Wake up for daddy. Joseph, it's two o'clock in the morning. Come on, smile for me now, baby. That's my girl. Okay. So who are you looking at? <laughs> Go ahead, you might as well. <laughs> Love me over there. My horn's gonna be singing and I'm gonna clean up, hey. Joe. <laughs> Joe, the family's gonna be fighting over my body. <laughs> oh, man. Joe, Joe, what happened to your boxing career, man? You were good, you know. Yeah, well, now I'm boxing a bunch of kids. They say, Le bon temps roule. Let the good times roll, baby. <laughs> Let the good times roll. You know, a gig here, a gig there. It's not exactly what I had in mind for the Falcons. Well, what about the club over on Mason? I thought you said they were interested. Well, now they're not. Hey, Katie. Hey, Katie, you're not pregnant again, are you? Happy. 
Oh, I'm just so embarrassed. How am I ever going to tell my mother? Well, were you ever planning on telling me? <laughs> you should be using birth control. I don't believe in no birth controls. You know that. Oh, Joe. All our dreams. You gotta have a little bit of patience, Katie. You know, one of these days, we're gonna be packing up out of here. And moving to the coast. I haven't given that up. I still have the dream. This is what it's come to. I'm not stealing. The potatoes are left here to rot or freeze. Yeah. Look, you don't eat, you don't live. Survival. Um, it's been four months, man. Four months since I've been laid off. This is not the way I planned it, Luther. This was not the plan. to run out of names. Oh, how about Ronald? Oh, Mama, no, not Ronald. Donald? <laughs> Mama, no, I don't want Donald. Stay home, Catherine. <laughs> Did your father tell you to call me that? Hmm. If he wants you to call him Joseph, fine. But me, I'm mother, and don't you forget. Hmm? I miss you. Oh, Michael, now there's no need to cry. I'm home. Everybody acts crazy when they're not at home. House full of monsters. <laughs> Man, it's just a few days a week, honey. Now that don't Hi, hurt nobody. Katie. Hey, Hi, kids. Hey, Emma, Leroy, that barbecue show smells nice. <laughs> Wonder what Reba got planned for us, huh? Finish the rest of these. All right. Yeah, what's in there? Yes, honey. Reba, oh. Honey, did you wash these greens before you cooked them? Wash them? Honey, it's bugs floating all in this water. You gotta wash greens real good before you cook them now. Here, take this. 
Guess we start this over again. The cornbread came out good, Mother. Yes, honey. Just let me change this dress. Your father be getting home from the meal soon. I told you before, that guitar is not a toy. It's a valuable instrument. If father gets a gig, something's wrong with his guitar. What then, huh? I was careful. Well, your father would have a fit if he saw you playing with it. Go put it away quickly. Come on. Ma? Yeah. How I sounded? Oh, you were sounding good. <laughs> you were sounding real good. <laughs> Tito, come here. <laughs> They're gonna call me if they need fillers. Means I could be working in all the departments of the store. So I'm gonna wash my dress out tonight in case they call me in the morning. Joe? Jackie? Boy, behave. Behave. Here, help yourself, honey. We got macro croquettes, collard greens, navy beans. How come we always have beans? Navy beans, great northern beans, butter beans. Black beans, chicken beans, hey, pork and beans, 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 it's a musical fruit. The more you eat them, the more you eat them. It's rude. Julia, you pour my food, I can't eat it. We're at the dinner table. It's Michael, he knows I don't like anyone breathing on my food. Marlon made me, that did not. You cry if someone just look at you. Can't help it. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> Whose shoe is that? It's not mine. I swear to God and Jesus, all of them. Not mine. Michael's. You have a place for your shoes. That is not the place. You messing with me, boy? So? Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> boy, you crazy, man. Joe, come out, no. Come on, whip your foot. Come here. Start. Come on, crazy. Come here. I'm not playing with you. Whip your natural butt. Come here. No, no. Michael, you're going to get a bite. Michael. No. I'm going to whip you, boy. Boy, boy, you are in trouble, boy. Well, I'm gonna whip you good! No, you're not! Michael, no. you learn to respect him, your father! Get out of there! Michael! Michael! Obey your father! Come out from under there! Oh, you're gonna get it, boy, but ain't no way you're not gonna get it! Ah, damn! Oh, man. You can't catch him. He's fast as a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that child. Oh, 
hurt you. I never would. I could use one. It was a be so hard. When somebody hits you, it takes something out of you. It hurts way inside. See? You can trust me, Mr. Hat. You look tired, Joe. I heard you getting so many kids. You gotta sleep in shifts. <laughs> Sleeping ain't the problem. The problem is keeping them fit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Frank! Hey, you play guitar? Working double shifts, man. When am I supposed to play guitar? Well, what about that group you were playing? Yeah, that group can't get arrested. <laughs> hey, man, that was a dream. This is reality. String of my guitar. Who? Who did this, huh? Who did this? I didn't do it. God, 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 swear to God. Believe me. Then who? Who's been touching what's mine? Do you. Come on out here. Come on! Joe, it's so late. Would you let him get some sleep, please? I want them to hear this. The whole family. I want to get to the bottom of this. And I don't care how late it is. <laughs> I want to know what's been going on around here. Now I fixed the strings on this guitar. I'm going to invite Tito to play for me. <laughs> and you better not mess up, boy. Or you're going to get more.
want every one of those bricks moved by the time I get back home. Y'all understand? After school, y'all get here and get right back to it. Why? I'm going to tell you why. First, it's going to keep you out of the streets and out of trouble. And second, it's going to make you tough. That's what you're going to need be for what I got in mind. What's he got in mind? Makes you wonder, don't it? Marlon, get back to your homework. Quit playing around. Michael, what are you doing? Oh, it's okay. It's just your father being devilish. Oh. He didn't scare that baby, did he? You? Why do you want to scare us like that? <laughs> you hungry? Okay, I fix your plate. <sighs> wow! Oh, <Joe>. guitar. <laughs> Where'd you get the money for that? <gasps> Who's it for? Do we all get one? This is Petito. Me? <laughs> oh. With the provision that you share it with whomever wants to practice. I'll practice. I practice every minute. I promise. Well, that's what you're going to have to do if you want to play real good. Practice makes perfect. Now, who knows? We might even get a group started. Yeah. Group. Maybe the Jackson boys. The Something like that. Jackson brothers. <laughs> Jackson four. Jackson four. What about me? Jackson four. <laughs> <laughs> Dreams. Danielle, would you like to tell the class what your dreams are? I would like to be a mother and a dentist. <laughs> Very good. And Marlon? I want a motorcycle. <laughs> okay. And Michael, what about you? I want to be a great singer. I know about a hundred songs, and I listen to them, and I learn them. That's why I want to sing in the school pageant. So can I? But I'm not on the committee. But you could ask. Please? <laughs> I'm gonna show up. I'm gonna show Joseph and my brothers. I'm just burning up, Mr. Red. I wanna sing with my brothers and everybody thinks I'm too little. But I'm not. I may be short, but I am the man. I know I can do it. No, I can't. Climb every mountain. Search high and low. Follow everybody.
Jackson 4 just became the Jackson 5. here for Jermaine. Oh, what do you buy? Okay, you get there. Got some amps, got mics. Jackie, Tito, come on. You guys, be careful. Right here. All right, be careful. You got to set up inside. There you go. Boys get everything. I don't even get my dress. <laughs> Take this inside, Joseph, Joseph, have you lost your mind? Oh, drums! Got to get them prepared. You need the right equipment. Prepare? What for? For what? I don't believe this. Where, where on earth did you come up with this kind of money? You ever hear about buying on time? Look, I use every dime that I can round up. But that's what it takes. I don't understand you. Jackie's shoes. A walk clear through to the soles of his feet. I'm trying it, to Joseph. outfit them all at the Salvation Army. The roof need fixing. The water heater shot. Me. I stretch the pennies as far as I can and you throw it away? I'll be in a talent show. I'm looking to the future. You mean the high school talent show? That's what you preparing for? Joseph, this neighborhood is filled with talented kids. You hear me? Every last one of them in a singing group. Here we are crowded in this low house. If we gonna get into debt, why don't we build on an extra bedroom? <laughs> Katie. Katie, we buy the instruments now. We buy the instruments now and then later we can get whatever we want. Now, I believe in these boys. I believe in their potential. Now, that, that kid from down the block, that, that Johnny Jackson, I'm gonna have him on the drums and I'm gonna get that Ronnie Ransom for kid on keyboards. It's gonna be professional. Joseph, you listen to me. We are in over our heads. <laughs> I just plain give up. Honey bunch, you know that I love you. I can't help myself. I love you and nobody else. No, 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 stop, stop. Marlon, watch again. That is not the way Joe Tex does it. This is how Joe Tex does it. He picks the microphone up, he flips it to one side, and then he flips it back to the other side. Michael, show it. That's the concentration we need. You guys want to be in the talent contest? You're going to have to prove it to me. I'm not going to be embarrassed. Understand? Here we go. Again. Ooh, sugar pie, honey bunch. You know that I love you. I can't help myself. I love you and nobody else. No, no, Marlon, Marlon, you missed a turn again! I was trying! He's singing out of tune, throwing everything off. How are we gonna ever get anywhere like this? Every kid in this block can do it better than you guys! You don't concentrate, you don't listen! Marlon, outside, go, get a switch. I was doing it honest, I was! You start whining before you get the switch, you stop it, be a man! Go! Now that's the only way. 
way you guys will be okay. better than anybody else. Come on now, keep up with your brothers. Let's go, let's go. We're we'll gonna be here all day. Let's go. My mama That's died, it. and my daddy got drunk. He left me here to die a drunk. Okay, keep it together now. In the middle Marlon, catch up with the train. The Come on, you can do that. Well, let's get it now. Marlon, you're stepping on Tito's feet. Watch it. Smooth, boy. Smooth. I knew, Yeah, especially when you're feeding an army. Here's a fiber. Bye. Have a good day. See you next week. <laughs> Working the boys so hard, they eat twice as much. <laughs> uh, hard work ain't never hurt nobody. <gasps> you know, that Marlon's gonna be a dance if it kills him. Can't cut it, Katie. Doesn't have it. Sings out of tune, he misses steps. I'm dropping him from the group. What? Joseph Walter Jackson. There's lots of things that you do that I do different. I keep quiet. I don't say nothing about it mostly. But on this, I gotta speak. I see him. Always trying to outrun Mike, always trying to beat him at some game. You do this to him and he'll break him. I'm not gonna let you do that. I can't let that happen. You too hard on them. You too hard on all of them. And I'm telling you what I know. It's gonna drive them away. Who do you want, Katie? You want them working in some, some steamer for the rest of their lives? Or would you want them out on some street corner with using dope? Or out there getting in trouble with some gang? Is that what you want? You know I don't. But I don't want to see them get whooped either. Yeah, well, that's the only way that I know how. That's how my father raised me. That's how every man out in the street handles their kids. Kids gotta be strong, Katie. That's the world we live in. Oh, Katie, I, I, got, a, I got a vision. A vision, Katie. I don't, I don't wanna get my kids out of here. I'm gonna get them out of Gary, out of those steel mills. I'm gonna make that happen. I want them to see the world, Katie. You know, I want them to be able to. To see their dreams come true. Their dreams, Joseph, are yours. friend, Mr. Rock. You're the one who listens to me. We gotta win tomorrow, Mr. Rock. Joseph says we gotta be winners. He says we got what it takes. Joseph says that, and Joseph knows.
Jack and Holly. Good. Good luck. Yes, Jermaine. All right. Thanks. Yes, you did good. Marlon, you were great. You got the spin and everything. Came into my life, so tenderly, with a burning love that stings like a bee. And now that I surrender, so helplessly. Joseph, it's just high school. Don't you lose this one, we could be working ten times harder. Don't you want Damn. Some more? Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the Roosevelt High School Talent Contest are... The judges have decided unanimously... The winners are the Jackson! Yeah. Oh, Catherine! Exciting! Congratulations, boys! Wonderful! Yeah. Good. 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 Oh, I am good. Good. You played the guitar really well. Yeah. You guys sang so good. All that hard work paid off. You're good, boy. Thanks. Mr. Rat! We won! We won, Mr. Rat! Where are you? You should have heard him clapping and cheering for us. Everyone liked us so much. I can't explain what it felt like so tingling up my back. Everyone liking us so much. That's what it's like when you win, and we're winners. Where are you, Mr. Rat? I want to show you what we won. Mr. Rat? No! Mother! What is it? What's going on? Mr. Rat, he's dead! Somebody killed him, and he was my pet! He was my friend! Oh, we got him good. Oh, Joe. <laughs> Michael, Michael, sweetheart, wait. Michael. Come here, sweetheart. Come to my bed. Come here. He never hurt nobody, and Joseph killed him. Oh. Sweetheart, it's just a dirty old mouse. No, we can't have mice in our house. Everyone has things that they have to overcome. Like Mother Sled. Hmm? Now, I'm not all mad and angry because I have a limp. I just think that I have to be stronger. And it's the same with you. There are going to be lots of times in your life when you're going to be hurt, sad, lonely. But you just have to remember that it's a test. Look at me. Can you remember that? It's just a test. Oh. the stakes are. The winner is going to get a trip to Hollywood. <laughs> Complete with a set of matching luggage and an audition for Capitol Records. Yeah! I ain't driving you. So,
judges, give us the word. The third place winner of all that Bobo's Cola, <laughs> Boss Guys. Let's hear it for these guys. They got a great act. Lots of raw talent. Okay, uh, let's see here. Second place winners of that color TV set, Indiana Dimes, probably. They white. Yeah. The Jackson Five. What? Huh? Oh. 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 She says second. I'm gonna get me a TV. And the first place winners are the Indiana Diamonds. Hey Jacksons, come pick up the color TV set. What about our TV? Take no second place what TV. What is color? Well, thank you all for coming out here today. Let's congratulate all of our winners. We've had enough trouble. It's over now. Wonder who got the color TV? Riker's dead, and so is your part of Abilene. It was unfair. The judges were wrong. White boys won. Yeah. Not much of a contest. Second ain't so bad. It's better than losing. Second is losing. There's only one winner. First, the charge is murder. The Jacksons don't lose contests. Am I making myself clear? We need more movement, more dance. Come on, let's go. We got to punctuate every time our feet hit the floor with sound. In other words, we got work to do. You understand? Work. Where's Michael? Where you been? I just want some penny. That's where it all goes? Every penny you earn? I'm not gonna eat it. I'm just gonna sell it at my candy store. Get it. No! How much you pay for these malt balls? A nickel. What you sell them for? A nickel. You better stick to singing. We're waiting. Come on. I want to play Star! Look, Candy, that's all you think about! We lose the contest, that's your fault! You know, you're the one that gives me so much trouble. Boy, are you crazy? Michael, come here! Michael, I'm, I'm not playing with you, boy! Michael! I'm never gonna sing again! Yes, you are! Never! Michael, get a switch! for our pictures. You know, I'll probably some fool. Sweet Betty from Girls, there's enough for everyone. You mind me, you hear, Marlon? I don't want that out of you anymore. That goes for you too, Michael. Stay with me. Hey, hey, Jackie! You gonna come to batting practice? Or you gotta babysit again? I gotta rehearse. Yeah, well, what about the team? I know, man. We got an anniversary party we're playing for. We gotta go over the songs. Come on, let's go. Hey! 
Big jacket. Big stuff, huh? Playing down in front of the mall, huh? Joseph! Joseph! Hey, man, what's the matter, man? I, I ain't bothering nobody, man. Joseph! Man, Joseph! Jackson's just hang it up. You ain't gonna amount to nothing. He got the big hand so bad he can't even fit through the door. <laughs> yeah, ain't nobody good enough for the Jacksons. <laughs> Don't worry, my nerves. Hey. You want to fight? Let's do it right. Yeah, Jackie, go! Yeah! Hit him, Jackie, hit him! Excuse me, excuse me, let me through! Come on, get up! Boys gotta learn. You're afraid of nobody. Never. Get out. Next time, next time you do what I tell you, you fight him or you do with me. Get out. Come on. Come on. Come on. It worked. He told me not to be afraid of anybody, and it worked. I did it. Y'all supposed to be in a dressing room. Joseph, see you. He be getting this bill. How did he do that? Where those tassels? He's naked. You gotta get out of here. Yes, my You go downstairs. You'll join the show. Mother knew this. She be having a fit for I just sure. But downstairs. All right, boys, come on. Let's all go to bed. Come on. Finally. Oh, how'd it go? Good. It went real good. All right, come on. You boys go right to bed. It's almost time for school. 
homogenizing. Uh, Michael, you need a little bit more attitude with your vocal. What's attitude? Michael, I want you to cooperate so we can get through this. Uh, they're, they're, they're a little nervous. It's their first time uh, in a recording studio. Michael, uh, try it again. This time with lots of attitude. Uh, emotion. Don't touch that mic. Airplane. You mean we might be on the radio? 
turn on the radio and we'd be singing? It could happen. Just keep those ears clean. Are you Randy? You doing okay? Janet? Yeah. home. Oh, okay. Coming. Hi. Hello. Hello, Jackie. Why are you calling? What do you want? Jim. Look, honey. We changed things around and did a little bit today. Who's this girl calling Jackie? Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> Girls always running after Jackie. Looks better, huh? I mean, honey, with all that equipment in here, it's just too hard making it look like a living room. What do you think? You like it? I like things the way they were. Mother is the woman of the house. She's got a right to fix things the way she wants it. Is that so? Yes, it is. You tell me, girl. You mess around like your brother Jackie, huh? You know I don't mess around. I'm not like that. Oh. <laughs> They're getting to that age, Jackie and Reby both. They're both good-looking kids. I mean, they got good personalities. They attract kids. This family is going to stay together. That's the only way this thing is going to work. It can't always be about family. For goodness sake, don't you think they want to be around their friends sometimes? This thing is bigger than that. Don't they understand? Boys! Let's go here. Teach us compassion of thee we sing. Bless us, Jehovah, our God, our Now look, I want you guys to watch the temptations. Now this roughing character, he flips the microphone into the air, spins, he catches it, then he does the splits. Michael can do that. You watch him doing all these James Brown moves. James Brown's got a solid band behind him. Hey, Pauline, how you doing? Good to see you again. That's a nice dress you got on, man. Jackie! Smile. Jackie, come on. We got work to do. Back-breaking work to do. Bye, Jackie. Bye. See ya. Nowhere. Oh, yeah? Where's that? Pauline and me was just watching TV. That's all. I hang out with my little brothers all the time. I want some freedom. You want freedom? You're free. You run away. You stay away. What's wrong? 
Come back here expecting breakfast? I'm here, Joseph. I want them all stacked up over there. Got it? Yeah. You want to move again? I'm doing it for two reasons. One, so you don't forget where you come from. And two, so you won't forget where you could end up. better? I might think you were going to throw that at me. No. I'm not going to throw it. We got a shot tomorrow in Chicago. All the gigs, all the contests that have led to this one are going to be on the same bill as Jackie Wilson. Don't blow it. Tonight, they'll open up the show for. Are you ready for this? Are you sitting tight? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Excitement himself, give it up for Mr. Jackie Wilson! Come on, Michael. Let's go. Joseph, Nathaniel Brown. The boy's lived in this neighborhood all his life. She's gonna get married. Date set, November 30th. I think she should have her blessing. The boys have a gig on the 30th. Joe? They're booked. I'm not going to pretend that I approve this marriage, and I know I don't. (sighs) 
You have got to make your peace with this. You are her father. She loves you. She needs your support. I got other things to deal with. to New York. But when are we going? Soon, oh, man. Soon. But how soon? Yeah, yeah. Well, I might take a train. Well, I might take a plane. But if I have to walk, I'm going to the train. Cab government. Supreme. Yeah. Sammy Davis Jr. Look, well, Stevie Wonder. Yeah, the Drifters. James Brown. Shoes like those someday. <laughs> Patent leather. Talking about more than shoes here, guys. Mike. Talking about a whole history of black performers. Come on, let's get ready. Come on. Wow. This is our big night. Something in it. Theater. Toughest place you're ever gonna play. The big time. This contest makes stars. You hear? This contest makes stars. <laughs> Greatest stars have been discovered here at the Apollo Theater's Amateur tonight. And without any exception, I want you to put your hands together and welcome all the way from Gary, Indiana, which is not in the park, not in Queens, but somewhere out there. It ain't here, but they're here Two, from there. Three, two, five. Jackson Five! Ladies and gentlemen, they're stopping to touch the Apollo's famous lucky log. It didn't work for the gym. <laughs> Did I say gym? Hold me, but maybe it will for these boys. The Jackson 5! Shake it up, baby, now. Shake it up, baby. Twist and shout. Come on, twist and shout. Come on, baby, now. Come on, baby. Come on, work it on now. Come on, work it on now. Well, work it on now. Work it on now. You know you look so good. You know you look so good. You know you got me so well. Just like I knew you would. Shake it up, baby, 
Hello? Hello? Katie. Yes? Katie, it's me. What? We won, baby. We won. They did? We won. Wipe the back. Mom, down. hurry. Tell me. Did oh, they win? How much is at the Apollo? Uh, oh, Joe, yeah, hold on a second. I got interference here. They did. They won. <laughs> we are on our way to Detroit. Bobby Taylor of the Vancouver's. But he called our show tonight. He says we can all stay at his apartment, make beds on the floor. On the floor? Joe, I don't understand. He is going to set up an audition for Motown. Oh, my God. Really? Go wake up your brother. The boys are going to audition for Motown. <laughs> Motown Records! <laughs> They're really talented. They're so cute. Won't you just come to the audition? Yeah, I'm sure they're talented and I'm sure they're cute, but they're kids. I hate kid acts. What about Stevie Wonder? Isn't he a kid? Yeah, we got to deal with his mother, his teacher, his lawyer, and the courts. And that's before we've made a record. And just as we get started, he's got to stop and go to school. But isn't it worth it? Yeah, well, finally. Look, these kids sang for me yesterday at Bobby Taylor's apartment. They are really special. Suzanne, I am a busy man. Please, Mr. Gordy, just watch them for a few minutes. Oh. Just give me a slow yes instead of a fast no. Okay, five minutes. Then I leave and you find me some talented adults. <laughs> okay. Indeed. Mr. Pass will get back to you shortly. Oh, yeah. You, you guys were terrific. Why don't you go back to the uh, apartment? I'll call you later. How much later? Not too much. But he liked us, huh? Well, how do you know that? I could tell. He didn't want anybody to know how much, but he did. We got to be on Motown! Yeah. Motown! Motown! Kids are nothing but trouble. Legal hassles. Well, what do you want to do? Sign them. They're great. They're fantastic. Pull all the stops. I already got some great ideas for them. I know exactly what I want to do. I can't wait to get started. I love it. Thanks. Oh, yeah. They gonna make a record jump. Oh, yeah, you know, that's what they say. We signed a contract. <laughs> you quit now, right, Joe? Oh, yeah, right. Hey, look, man, all we got is a piece of paper. I still gotta put bread on the table, right? Yeah. Contract didn't do that. Yeah, yeah. Can I get that amen? Amen. amen. Come on, man. Bears on me. Thank you. 
Joseph's here. God bless you, Reed. I just want to thank you for coming to my wedding. I just wish that my brothers could have been here. Brothers had a gig. There's nothing more important than that. Thank you so much. I enjoy myself. All right. All this gets married and goes to Kentucky. I never thought one of them was going to leave us gig before we got to California. Well, maybe we've just gone as far as we're going to go. Freezing cold mornings, waking up in the middle of the night in the dark, warming up that van so I can go to work. All those damn days in that steel mill. The only thing that kept me going was the thought that our children was going to have something better. Well, maybe it's just time for us to be a normal family. These boys are growing up, Kitty, fast. The only time we've seen it longer, it's going to be damn late. us back to Detroit, so we gonna give them the works, you understand? Come on, y'all now. Who's gonna be there? How do I know? If Barry Gordy wants us to perform, we're gonna perform. It must be important. Diana Ross gonna be there? Get in. <laughs> I bet they'll all be there. Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder, Whoa. and Smokey, too. Yeah, but you don't even know this band. We ain't gonna be there, and the rest ain't gonna matter. Come on, it's important. Let's go. Oh, oh Diana Ross is gonna be there. Oh. Wow, look at this gig. You see that? Right up the hill until you're right, please. Whoa, get a load of this place. Okay. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey. You nervous? No. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Now, Mr. Gordy wants the guys to perform for the key people in the company today. Huh? That's sales, marketing, and creative. Okay. Huh. What does that mean, creative? Well, that's the department that the songwriters and the record Talk producers work in. Door. Um, it's kind of like they create the songs and they become records. Oh. And everybody's going to come see you guys perform today. Yeah. You mean like Diana Ross? Yeah. Michael, stop asking so many questions. He drives everybody nuts. Man, this place is so big. Oh, Mike. Wow. Pretty impressive, huh? Yes. Well, I'll take you on a little tour, and then we got to go down to the pool house. Who are they? That's Hazel, Mr. Gordy's daughter. And that is Roxanne and Patrice, her cousins. It's cool. Mr. Gordy just moved to California, but he's still keeping his Detroit house. <laughs> Thank you. Bang. Come on. Let me take you guys upstairs. <sighs> baby, baby, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Baby, baby. phrase I told you so. Were they fantastic or what? Well, you see, Bernie, like I've been trying to tell Hi, you. Hi, I'm Jermaine. I know. Great. I'm Hazel. Get acts for my life. Okay. Three key things. First, we need a hit record. I'll guarantee that. Second, we need great promotion and marketing. Third, we need a great show. So I want all of you brilliant people to put all of your brilliant minds to work because we're taking the Jackson 5 
all the way to the top and beyond. Well, I don't like it. And I don't understand it. Why? Michael and Jermaine have to fly out there alone with Jackie. Old Town will take care of him. Mr. Gordy, he wants to start a record right away, immediately. He knows what he's doing, Katie. He needs the lead singers. Be out there in a week with Marlon and Tito in the van. Well, how long before you send for the rest of us? I keep telling you. As soon as we find a house and as soon as we get settled, it's all going to work out fine. our dream. We're going to California. It's coming true. We're a family. And we're going to stay a family. Welcome back to the Hollywood Palace. anymore. Our brothers are so handsome. Oh, they just look so nervous. Oh, Mama, I keep telling Tito, relax your face muscles, baby. <laughs> they wear in the suits you bought them. <laughs> now do we get to go to Halloween? Oh, gosh. Get right away for Joseph to find us a house. Come on. I want to go swimming in the ocean. Yeah, they said the sun is always shining there. I just want to know what kind of people they're with out there in Hollywood. I can't even sleep at night for worrying, so it's been two months already. Oh, oh, my turn too fast. Now Jackie's got to catch up. Oh, oh, Mom. I'm, I'm just going to have a heart attack. <laughs> Introduces them as Michael Jackson and the Jackson Five on national television. Well, it just came out like that. Hey, there's no stars in this group. That's the way it was set up, and that's the way it's gonna be. I, I, I like this whole setup. I mean, Dinah Ross pretending like she uh, discovered them. Oh no, Joseph, she just presented them. She did us a favor, a big favor. Oh, Mr. Mean? Gordy asked if she would bring them out into the spotlight, and she was gracious enough to do so. So. Give me a break. I'm trying to find some costumes for these kids. Nice shirt, Marlon. Hey, my, my, my kids already have costumes. I've always seen sure. that my children have good costumes. This is good for you, Michael. So this is the test. <clears throat> Michael, how old are you? Nine. Holy, I'm really 11. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're cuter at nine than you are at 11. It's called PR. Yeah, it makes you more spectacular. <laughs> Look, there's a whole lot more you're gonna have to remember. The next thing you learn is how to do an interview. Only if they ask us about politics. 
We're supposed to say we're just entertainers. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you always want to be kind and polite, courteous. Our boys have good manners. We've been taught. <laughs> Except at the dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mother always had Mike about his table manners. <laughs> <laughs> he just say, hey, bro, throw me some bread. <laughs> well, hey, man, what do you expect? from a nine-year-old. <laughs> that acts like a three-year-old. Happy birthday, Tito! Yeah, happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday, Tito, even if you don't get to have a party. Everybody pick you guys up at 4 o'clock, hey? Pick you up. Be there. We'll be there. Yeah. Only you let me have a car, you wouldn't have to pick me up. No? What you say? Nothing, Joseph. We'll be there at 4. <laughs> happy birthday, bro. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot. <laughs> Oh, Hi, Jackie. I Hi. saw you on TV. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Oh, you guys are great. Hey. <laughs> I can't believe you're in our high school. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, maybe that's why our eyes keep meeting in math class. We're both starting out in a new school. So you having a birthday party? No, we don't celebrate holidays and birthdays so much. Our parents are Jehovah Witnesses. I don't know anything about Jehovah Witnesses. So, what do you think of L.A.? Oh, I love it. I love the weather, sun, the ocean. Oh, no. Here comes a big man with a van. I gotta go. Look, can we talk again tomorrow after school? I babysit after school every day. Tito! In fact, I'm late right now. Stop! Look, um, I gotta go, but look. I'll figure out something, okay? Okay. Thank you. Katie, you're gonna love living in California. Oh, you just look so different. Is that an afro? Yeah, mother, that's the latest style. Come on, come on you guys, hurry. Got a meeting, gotta go. I never actually thought I'd see a palm tree. <gasps> Not in person. Different from Gary, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, Joe. This is the most beautiful place in the world. I told you, Katie. I told you I was going to get us to California. Yeah. <laughs> you got me to California. Sure. Hmm. Me having all those babies, that's what got us to California. <laughs> All right, this is it. Oh, my. <laughs> what do you think? Joseph, it's a movie star's house. Yeah. Where's Jackie? Hey. Oh, Randy. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hi. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, oh, my gosh. Look at you. Oh, oh, my gosh. Call me Katie. Oh, hey, mother. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, sis. Hello. Oh. 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 We got a dishwasher. We do? Yeah, we got an orange tree in our backyard. Oh. And there's a peacock that lives down the street that got a lot of pet rats. Come on. Oh. Hey, boys, boys, in the van. We're going to be late. I'm just going to show mother my pet wait. rats. Oh, Joe, where are we going? Oh, I gotta take them over to Diana Ross's house. She's having a swimming party and she wants me to meet some of the people. Diana Ross's house? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord, my hair. Where's my comb? Latoya, where's my comb? Mom, I gotta get my swimsuit. Uh, no, no, no. Not you. This is business. Jackson 5, this is just me and the boys. <laughs> What do you think? Yeah, I like it. It's pretty nice. I never want to leave this school. Me either. <laughs> hey, not fair. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Maine. There's some people in the house. I want you to meet them. Try on, OK? Right? I wish you could stay. 
I know, I do too. Michael, Marlon. Five more minutes. Come on, minutes. inside. Let's go, dry off, come on. I think you like being here, Me too. <laughs> you coming? Yeah, just I'm coming. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Look, Mother, another bathroom. We don't have to stand in line anymore. Yes, yes. I see it. Mother, look at these closets. Clothes sure are gonna get lost in there. It's the most beautiful place in the whole world. Oh, and there's an automatic washer and a dryer and right next to the kitchen. And soon I'm going to be in the Jackson 5. I'm not. Am too. Huh, mother? Stop that jumping on that bed. Get off of there. You know better than that. Just look over your shoulder, honey. That's not in the lyric sheet. Is it okay if I put it in? Oh, yeah, it's okay, Michael. It's okay. Michael, I'm the boss. Shoulders. No, 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 that was great. That's just what we wanted. I love mistakes. And another thing, Jackie, don't ever stop the take. You sing, I direct, okay? You want me to do it again? No, that was perfect. Just the way I wanted it. Perfect. Woo! Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> back. Give it back. Jackie! Right are ready? Yeah! Let's go! Sure. I don't feel good. You know, the Osmonds don't always feel good either. But they don't let it stop them. That's why they're on the radio. Always. Day and night. Come on. Hey! Come on! Every time. Every single time. Try coming down and do the turn right here, okay? How's it going? Oh, uh, Mr. Gordy, um, well, we're just having a, a small problem. We're trying to work out Michael's turns, but it, it's really no big deal. Yeah. Well, Joseph told me to hand the microphone to Jackie so I don't get caught in the wire. Well, that's, that's exactly what we don't want to do. 
Never relinquish your microphone. This is your hammer. This is what makes you the leader. You understand? Jackson 5. Would you like to come up and sing with me, Michael? Would you, like Would you all like that? Come on in. Don't be shy. Come on,
much that you're crazy. I just want to know what it does. Your job is not to touch nothing. I'll be back later. Pick y'all up. Hey, Joe. Hey, fellas. How you doing? <laughs> What's that button do? That's the EQ. What's the EQ? That alters natural sound. As for the highs and lows. Check that, How much does this cost? Michael, that's none of your business. Look, as long as you do what you have to do, and you take care of business, you can ask me all the questions you want, okay? Of course, if you know how expensive this is, you might not break it, right? Right. Right. anymore since you started private school now you're going on tour you're gonna forget about me i'm crazy about you Didi. i'm gonna miss you i miss you too Joseph, you remember Didi? I introduced you. This ain't the time for socializing. I got a job to do, remember? I don't want girls hanging around rehearsals. Yeah, but Hazel, she's always here to see Jermaine. Hazel's different. I don't have a say over Barry Gordy's daughter, but I still have a say over my son's. can do this every night and still go to school every day. Don't. Stop with your complaining. Got enough pressures. Got a beautiful house. Everything you want. <laughs> yeah. Got everything I want. Except you. Oh, we just don't even talk anymore. Because you're always so tired, you're too busy, and you're gone. <laughs> I cook dinner and don't nobody show up. I'm stuck in the house all day since I can't drive. You don't need to drive. What? You think I like bothering Suzanne to pass every time I want to go to the grocery store? Okay, so you'll learn to drive. It's just so confusing. It's just... I just... All the neighbors are white people. I just feel out of place. I just... I just don't belong.
This is what it's going to be.
Two hamburgers, one milk, one iced tea, and pie. Apple pie. Yeah. Make that too. Okay, thank you. Can you really order up anything you want? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, I would just love it to live in a hotel. Room service and my own TV. My own little bed, nice and soft. Tell me something. I read in a magazine that you love Hazel Gordy. That it was love at first sight or something. Is that true, Jermaine? Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Well, I guess that's who you were singing to last night, then. Hazel Gordy. That's too bad. All that time, I thought you were singing to me. I didn't even know you last night. <laughs> but now you do. Do you like my perfume? Smell it. Mm-hmm. It's made out of roses, you know. About a hundred petals just to make one drop. You like that? Yeah. Your lips are as smooth as rose petals. Oh, Jermaine, you are so cute. It is hard for me to stop touching you. Room service and bring up the food any minute now. Don't you worry about room service. Mm. Mm, look, you made your hands. Huh? Your hands are all over me. My hands are right here. <laughs> I felt them. Your hands were on me. No, my hands are right here. I only kissed you. I felt them, and believe me, they were there. Who's under there? <laughs> Michael, Marlon, <laughs> back here. Rose petals. <laughs> Just wait till I catch you. Just wait. <laughs> no, Joseph, listen to me. I have a right to know where my children are and what they're doing. Never dreamed I'd be eating in the Jacksons' house. It ain't great, me neither. Shh. <gasps> no, I don't care how busy you are. Listen, you... Uh, hello? Joseph? Well, how are we doing? Hi, Miss Jackson. What did he say? Where are they? Shh. Well, tonight they're in Nashville, tomorrow Memphis. How do you know that? The fan club issued a whole itinerary. See? Not hungry. Excuse me. Toy, why you want to act so ugly in front of company? Just tell them to go home. They're fans. Now, it's because of them that your brothers have come this far. I want to always show them respect. I want to go back to Indiana. I wish I were there. I know you do. I miss home, too. How can we always have to stay here? Why can't we go out on the road? Because your father says that no girls are allowed. No mothers either. No mothers allowed. 
You didn't even know where they were. I'd like to talk to you all tonight about the blues. The blues? What you know about the blues? Huh? Yeah, the blues. Don't nobody have the blues like I got. The blues. No, we know about the blues. Shoot, I may be young, but I know it's all about. You know, no, no. So let me tell y'all how it went down. I met this girl at school one day during sandbox. Sandbox? Yeah, sandbox. You're talking about the sandbox. Oh, we toasted our love during milk. Cake. I ain't gonna call it. I gave her my cookies. <laughs> we fell out during the paint. So one day, I stepped up to her and I said, What'd you say, Mike? What'd you say? married anyway. Go ahead, show the ring. It's very pretty. I I'm sorry. It's, um, I'm just shocked. Well, Joseph, aren't you going to say anything? <laughs> Joseph! Tito, go after her. just the way Joseph is. Didi, look, I know it's hard on you, okay? It's hard on me too. But give it some time and he will get used to you. I promise. He's just upset. The kids are so young. Congratulations, bro. Hey, thanks, Jermaine. I don't understand you. Got a beautiful brand new house here. And you want to move? Tito. some camera equipment. All right, you can have the equipment. 
in a space right here. Made into a dark room for you. You can take pictures, develop them. You can have all the equipment you want. I'll see to that. Only don't marry that girl. It's gonna mess up your life. You know, you got girls screaming all over you right now. You get married and they're gonna look at you different. I don't care. I'm gonna marry Dee Dee. You marry that girl. Is the end of the Jackson 5? No. It doesn't have to be. Diddy won't cause trouble. She doesn't want to come in between me and my brothers. She doesn't want to go on tour. She doesn't want nothing but me. All this work. For nothing! You are gonna blow the whole thing. Hey man, that was good standing up to Joseph like that. It isn't true what he said. This won't break up the group or anything. Of course not. Getting married is the only way out of here. New house don't make no difference. It's still the same inside. Stick to your guns, man. Man, I hate it when y'all talk like that. About getting married. How did you do that to all our fans? Right. So where are you gonna live, man? Yeah, I found a little apartment out in the scene. Isn't it pretty? A little apartment. Yeah. Hey, come on, Tito. Hey, look, I don't care about big houses, you know? I just care about being with Diddy. Man, you're a big star. I mean, I look, know. everyone else around you got big houses. You're supposed to have one, too. Yeah, that's your business. <laughs> so I told Tito since we got married. Don't like a big But what about when you're feeling tired? You too many rehearsals. This marriage gonna be bad for the group. You gotta keep a tighter ring. traveled all over the world. They have millions of fans. What are you going to do? Ask them to go out, get a switch off a tree, bring it in here so you can beat them with it. Go to bed, Joseph. Go to bed. Okay, I talked to Bob Jones. He's going to meet us at the airport with the ties. This fog's going to make us off late. Yes, sir. <sighs> well, we'll go right to the stadium, okay, Joseph? Give me a moment. I can bring that back to you. What are we supposed to say? National anthem. Star Spangled Banner. You know, uh, we don't have to worry about a band because you can do it a cappella. What are the words? What do you mean? The Star Spangled Banner. It's a national anthem. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? And then what? You don't know? Well, we know parts, but we've never done it before. Do you know the words of the Star Spangled Banner? Mm -mm. These kids have got to get it right in 20 minutes. Does anyone know the words of the Star Spangled Banner? No. <laughs> Thanks, man. What's 
so proudly we hail by the twilight. Did you get it? What's so proudly we hail by the twilight? Like, okay, I got that. I got that. All right, next line. Who's broad, broad, stripes, and who's broad stripes and bright stars? Who's broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight? Where the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rockets rippling, the bombs bursting in there, gave proof of the night that our flag was still there. Michael, we're already late. Now come on. Hey, Mike. Come on, Mike. See there? Your brothers, all of us, we're depending on you, Michael. You can't let everybody down. What about all your fans? Huh? Come on, be a man. Be a man, Michael. What, do, do you think the plane's gonna crash? The plane is not gonna crash. Oh, I know you're tired. I'm tired, too. We all are. It's a lot of hard work, huh? The airplanes and the hotel rooms and all those fans and all that noise and being away from home. But I know once you get up on that stage, you like it, Michael. Sometimes I like it. Sometimes I don't. How about a, a giant chocolate candy bar? You can eat it on the plane. No. Michael, you never turn down candy. Please don't make me go on that plane. I'm scared. I don't want to go on any more planes ever. Ever. Come on, Michael. No! Michael, cut it out. No! Michael, what are you... Wait, are you crazy? No! Come here. We only missed one flight because of you, Michael. We're going to miss another flight. Come on. There's nothing to worry about. Michael, it's fun. It's fun. It's real. Michael, cut it. Michael, now stop it! We gotta get on the plane! I don't want to go! Please! Yeah, don't do the fucking Michael, you're nuts! Michael, you're nuts! J-5! 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 You all right? You all right? I got no time for tears. I want you to go out there. I want you to be tough. You be a man. You understand me? Be a man. You know who you are? The Michael Jackson. And I saw you standing there. I was so thankful. I was ready to bust through that window. In case you didn't know. I love you, Hazel Gordy. 
I love you too, Jermaine Jackson. You know, Barry Gordy's not gonna be satisfied until he has one of my boys calling him daddy. Go on. He's not gonna bite. Hazel and I, we really like each other a lot. Yes. I really care about her. I sort of get that feeling. We love each other. We want to be together. Good. We want... We want to get... Barry? Yes. <laughs> That's a serious step. You got a job? Daddy. Oh, yeah, I forget it. You work for me. <laughs> Daddy, be good. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Hazel. Okay, okay, I will. Why don't you let me and Jermaine speak to each other alone for a minute? Okay, well, Daddy, behave yeah. now. Okay. Please. All right. Go. Ahead. <laughs> Go, ahead. Go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> You know, an entertainer's life and marriage can uh, have its problems. Well, there'll be the groupies, women chasing after you, and then when you and Hazel have kids, she'll be left at home to take care of them. It won't be like that. Well, that's what you say now, but it's a rough game out there with a lot of temptations. All of those girls following you, and we both know Hazel. She'd never go for that. I love Hazel. She's the only one I love. I've loved her from the first time I saw her. I know you do. You've shown me a lot over the years. You're a fine young man. I want you to know that I'll be here for you anytime. Welcome to the family. <laughs> <laughs> Jermaine's on the phone. He wants to talk to you. Ken Hazel. I don't want to hear it. What did he say? He wouldn't come to the phone. He wouldn't even come to the phone. Jealousy. 175 of them, Jermaine told me. Went to Wonderland, all right. Artificial snow, pine trees. Well, if Barry wants to spend that kind of money on his daughter's wedding, that's his privilege. Santa Claus himself. Good night, Mother. Michael. Tired. Going to bed. Maybe Michael wanted to marry Hazel. Well, maybe he just wanted to be Barry Gordy's son. <laughs> Stop it. You know I don't like that kind of talk. You know how sensitive Michael is. So just leave him alone for a while. All this marriage business has been hard on him. The wedding is over. Got that out of the way. That's why I call this meeting tonight. It's time to think about the future. We're gonna play Vegas. Made a deal with the MGM brand. 
So what does Mr. Gordy say? Who cares what Mr. Gordy says? I'm your manager. I raised you. Las Vegas? Well, Michael likes the idea. Well, we put Janet and Randy into the act. You might interest the TV networks. I want to do a weekly show. The Osmonds got a show. They're nice kids. We ain't got nothing against the Osmonds. You think Donnie Osmond could hold a candle to Michael? You think they're better than us? We'll show them. We'll show everybody. Gotta keep up with the dream. Now, Barry Gordy does not control this family. Understood? Because I do. songs we need new material so let's try the one you've been working on man what's the use we'll never get to sing it anyway marvin gay is taking charge of his own music stevie wonder too i mean they fought for certain things and it paid off hey jermaine why don't you help the brothers out here talk to barry he is your father-in-law look father-in-law is one thing group is another Anyway, we got a winning combination. A seven-year run of hits. Got no more hits. Well, get it back, man. I'm not running to my father-in-law every time somebody's got a complaint. You want to talk to him, talk to him. I want to talk to him. But he ain't going to want to listen. No. Another one. Well, have you been using the stuff the dermatologist gave you? Yes. Well, are you constipated? That can make your face break out. Mother, this is serious. I was trying to help you to acne. You'll grow out of it, Michael. When? When I'm about 10 years behind and everything? I probably won't leave this house until I'm 28. Well, if you're 10 years behind, that means you're about 18, so that's about right. I'm not joking. I hate the way I look. You know, my nose is too wide. Fans expect me to sound and look another way when I was little. You just gotta be who you are, Michael. I don't know who I am. Except music. Music is in me. That's all I remember in my life is music. My album's not doing anything. My voice has changed. You know what they say right in front of me? That's little Michael Jackson. Yuck. He's got pimples. I think 
Michael Mugley. Oh, Michael. I respect my fans, Mother. They made us. I'm letting them down. You cannot live your life trying to fit into other people's fantasies. You just be who you are. And you're beautiful. You always have been beautiful. From the moment that you were born. Oh, Michael. There's something in your eyes that touches everyone. Mary told me once that a song has to tell a story. I've got a million stories in my head. Sometimes at night, I can't sleep just thinking about them. And I want to sing them. I'm filled up with music. I just wanted to come out. <laughs> and it blew up. Because there's no stopping it. Okay, now, listen up. CBS is hot to track. They want to give us a deal. I mean, like, now. They're prepared to give us the deal of the century. I just got off the telephone. We need to talk. We produced a show in Las Vegas, right? You boys liked the freedom of that, didn't you? Hey, we were hit. Motown's always been in our corner. Yeah? You should be writing your own songs. Producing your own records. Michael, we gotta change. I mean, you said so yourself a thousand times. I'm sick of singing doo-wop. I mean, they don't even need us at the recording studio anymore. Yeah, you know, they're gonna dub us over anyway. Look, we choreograph our own numbers. We can do our own music. We get away from the bubblegum. We know just as much about the record business as anybody over there at Motown. Motown's taught us the business. They trained us. You knew the business before Motown. You were ready. You were professionals. You keep saying it yourself, Michael. We need some control. Say it, bro. Now, we can ask Motown to renegotiate our contract. Now, what kind of value do you think they have on us these days? What kind of content do you think you're going to get? On the other hand, we can write, produce, and perform our own records. CBS is ready. Waiting. Jermaine? What's up? Joseph's waiting for you upstairs. He wants to talk to you. Not sure. It's the contract. I need you to sign. Contracts. Yep. Yeah. Leave in Motown. Going over to CBS. All your brothers have already signed, Jermaine. Just waiting on your signature. Sign it. No. I'm going to get my own attorney. I'm going to have him check things out. Your own attorney? Yes. 
my own. You just remember one thing. It's my blood going through your veins. Not Barry Gordy's. with us and we have a press conference and we're just gonna talk about being with CBS you don't have to have any big statements to say what you're gonna do I'm not gonna do that look Jermaine you and me we've always been close I'm asking you to sing with us we have a show scheduled two days after the press conference come on bro sing with us how can I look at my left and I see you there. Please, bro. Please. Hey, so I don't know what's wrong. I can't take this pressure. It's driving me nuts. All these years with Motown and now everything's falling apart. Barry's my idol. He always has been and always will be. But how am I gonna stay when my brothers leave? Jermaine, listen. You gotta do what you gotta do. It's what you want to do. No matter what, we'll still be married. I'm still your wife. But your dad. This has nothing to do with me and my dad. He knows how much I love him. I married you, not the business. Oh, baby. I don't want to leave. Motown's having a hard time right now, and I just can't jump ship. I want to stay and help work things out. I just don't know if I can do it, Hazel. Leave my brothers. I just don't know. What time is it? It's almost time to go up. Okay, now the important thing is for you guys not to panic. Got that? Don't panic. Now Randy's here and he's ready. Ready? Yeah, ready. good boy. Jermaine has always been at my left. I always look over at him. I'll be there on your left. Jermaine will show. I know he will. Ready? Of course. You sure? I'm ready, Joseph. I've always been ready. We depended on you, Randy. I've wanted to be a part of this group since I was two years old. I'm ready. This is your chance. Don't mess up. Joseph, I won't mess up. Trust me. Okay.
Let's take that again from the top. Okay. From the top. Working again all night? Yeah, it was great. I loved it. Trying all these new sounds and stuff. Michael, sweetheart, you didn't forget that the promo tour starts this morning, did you? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not going. Joseph's gonna be disappointed. Hey, Bubba. And your brothers. Hey, Bubba. I started something I just can't stop right now. I can't. It's like everything is coming out that I've been wanting to say. Bubba, come here. Hey, Bubba. Sweetheart, we're all excited about what you're doing. Your brothers just want to be a part of it. It's stuff I want to do alone. It's just going to have to understand, Mother. Samson, come here. Hey, hey. Um, how you doing? You want something to eat? yesterday. Ring twice, hang up. <laughs> Limo should be here any minute. I'm not going. What? What do you mean? 
not feeling too good. Huh? Oh. I'll catch up with them in a couple of days. Michael's not going either. Surprise. All right, I'm gonna catch a flight out tomorrow. I got a bit of sore throat. Hey, don't push it. We can handle this. You guys got a pretty heavy schedule. It was just signing some autographs, personal appearances. Hey, easy as A, B, C. So simple as do, re, me. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Randy? Oh, there's gotta be one that's late. I'm just Come thinking, on. thinking, thinking. Just thinking of my sweetheart. Just thinking of a new life. Just thinking of the good signs. Thinking about my baby. Get in the car! Baby? She's just like three year olds. You know, I'm sick of this man. Promotional tours. When are we gonna get to perform again? Hey, ask Michael. Sure, ask Michael. Whoever sees Michael. Need an appointment to see our own little brother. <laughs> Let's go to store and some ice cream. Ice cream? <laughs> There's some in the fridge. Uh, I want pecan. <laughs> pecan. Just go to the store and get me some, baby. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mr. Jack. Central money order. Did you get it? Okay.
Joseph called again. I'm not here, Mama. Jermaine called this morning. I was supposed to lie? I just... I don't want to talk to anybody right now. Two weeks, Katie. The police gonna be looking for you soon. The family's all upset, worried. Reba knows where I am. She'll tell them I'm okay. Oh. So peaceful. Quiet. Too quiet. Times I... I kind of long for Chicago. No. Alabama's home. No. Home is where your heart is. Your home is California, Katie. Might as well face up with it. I don't want to go back. Not yet, not for a while. You got your strength. You rested. Time you faced up to the music. You've always had a lot of courage, Katie. <laughs> if I do, I got it from you. From me, from your father. Courage in your way. Go on to California. That's where your heart is. You can't run away from what's in your heart. How did the tour go? Same old, same old. Where's Michael? When is Michael going to record another record with his brothers? Where's everybody? Randy's going off on his motorcycle. Janet is, is dipping on a TV show. Latoya's down in the studio. What about Michael? Yeah. I can go for a whole week and I get sight of him. I think it started when Marlon got married. That's when it started. Him being so quiet. Marlon was so close. He felt like he was all alone. Have you talked to Jermaine? We don't have anything to talk about. Oh, Joseph, I've been thinking. I'm not leaving his house. I got this letter. The boy said he don't want me to be the manager no more. That contract, it's not renewed. I bring in, I bring in these management guys to, to help out. So what do they do? Where's my boy's minds against me? do my job, saying I should never, I should never 
sign that contract with Motown from the beginning? Just stealing my boys away. They're stealing my boys away. I trusted those guys. on that crane in that steel mill. It's still in me, Katie. I still carry that around in me. All of this. What does it all mean? Those boys think they know they know more than I do. Who got them there? A boy is on us, Jill. They come out of us, but they're not us. They have to go their own way. <sighs> it's part of growing up. That's why they did it. To show their independence. Sure, we brought them this far, but now they gotta go on alone. They gotta take it a step further. It's like... teaching little birds to fly. They fly away, I guess. They still love you, Joe. They still love you. What about you, Katie? He's down there right now. He rented the studio to do some remixing. It's the perfect time to cash him. Everybody is booked except Marvin and Michael. Did you ask Michael? Yeah, he said he'd, he'd sit in the audience, but he didn't want to do the show. Well, if he doesn't want to do the show, then do it without him. What? Oh, wait, what? Well, in the way this show is to honor me for building Motown, right? Yeah, but... How can I beg people to do that? But he won't even listen to me. He won't listen to anybody but you. Then you got a problem. It's your show. Millions of people are gonna feel cheated if Michael Jackson isn't part of the celebration. Then they've got a problem. Can you... can you just talk to him? I'm just asking for, I'm asking for a slow yes instead of a fast no. What do you want me to do? Beg. Music has changed. Those were the good old days, Motown. It was like we a fantastic machine that took care of everything. How to walk, talk, perform. Everything but what was inside. We're 
putting together a special TV show, Motown 25. Yeah, I heard. I want you to appear on it. You and Jermaine, brothers, united. I don't know. It's been a long time. Yes, it has. But now is a great time. I told Suzanne I'd rather just sit in the audience. She doesn't need you in the audience. Besides, I would appreciate it. I've been doing too much TV. It's not just a TV show. It's Motown 25. It's a celebration of a major accomplishment that broke through all of the obstacles, all of the barriers. It's about me. It's about you. You and your brothers haven't been seen together for years. Wouldn't it be great getting out there on the stage with them again? People love magic. You singing it with Jermaine again, that's magic. Michael, you may think you're big now, but doing a show like this the right way could really put you into orbit. Don't do it for me. Do it for yourself. It'll be a great show anyway. With you. It'll be greater. You know, once, when I was a kid, I was standing next to you and somebody asked you if I was your son. I want you to say yes. I gotta tell you, Barry. Sometimes I wish that you were my dad. If you really want me to do it, I will. There's just one thing. Oh, strings, huh? I'll sing with my brothers, but I want a solo spot.
mother. God. I've seen you boys together. United. Uh, it's like my old dream. <laughs> we can still light up the sky. We can, we can, uh, we can do some commercials together. I I'm talking, I'm talking about millions of dollars. You know, I even, I even got one in mind. How would you guys like that? Hey, uh, hey, Joe. Jackson, Mr. Jackson, how do you feel about all of this? How do I feel? His mother? Well, I mean, you and Michael have had your differences. You have any kids? Uh, no. It's my son in there. My son. It's a miracle your clothes didn't catch on fire. Second and third degree burns on the back of your head. My hair. You'll get your hair back. The family's all waiting out there. I'm gonna go and tell them that you're okay. Tell him I like buying in the ambulance. And what's wild with the sirens wailing. <laughs> you probably always wanted to, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
fancy wearing that bandage, they may all start wearing bandages on their heads. <laughs> Michael. Yes, Mother. I want to talk to you. Sit down for a minute. I knew you did the commercial for the family. I appreciate it because I know how hard it is when you have other things that you want to do. My own music. And that's where my heart is. I know. You're torn and I understand. But Joseph has a dream. He has a kind of vision. The tour is Joseph's vision? Our vision. His and mine. And now that Jermaine's left Motown, the family can perform together again. And it'll never be the same. You know, I was sitting in my room, thinking about when we were little. You were always practicing or performing. Always on the stage. <laughs> you were so young when you started, that's all you ever knew. I wanted to play with the other kids. <laughs> Set up your candy store. Wanted to trick or treat on Halloween. Ride bikes. Used to see the other kids on the street playing. We never had time for all of that. You missed a lot. It's true. I always thought you were going to leave Joseph someday. After all the hard times he put you through. I guess I still love him, Michael. He may have pushed a little too hard sometimes. He may have made some bad business decisions. He may have not listened. But he's the one. He's the one that made all this possible. And you, you're just so lucky because you can put it all in your music. All of it, all the sadness, all the joy. All the things from the past, all the things you're feeling right now. <laughs> Michael, come sit next to me. I know you. I understand that you feel lonely sometimes. I know you're hurting. But my mama told me about courage. She told me it's in our genes. So I tell it to you. You be a good courage, Michael. Don't you be afraid of anything. Not of Joseph. Not of the fans and what they expect of you. Don't you be afraid of the world out there. Most of all, don't you be afraid of us, because the Jacksons are more than a musical group. The Jacksons are family.
Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to say a few words. You know, we're embarking on this tour for many reasons. But mainly because of our mother. Our father, too. For the dream that they had. An American dream that started a long, long time ago when our ancestors came here. Slaves. Oppressed people. Beaten down. Beaten up. You know, we've come a long, long way from 2300 Jackson Street. When my brothers and me used to long for a color TV. You know, our family wasn't beaten down by poverty. And we're not gonna be beaten down by fame either. This is what it's all about. This tour. It's a celebration. It's a victory. <laughs>